any viewers. Um, a couple weeks ago, someone made a comment on one of my uh, videos about a uh, specific sound that was being heard in the background about running another motor. And I replied it was a, a homemade DC generator. And that's what this is. I wanted something that I would give me a, a variable DC output, you know, from low voltage to high voltage. And um, I had a permanent magnet DC treadmill motor lying around. And so I, I turned that into a generator. I built a wooden housing around it, and that's what this is. It's a good size box. Both the, both the same size as the uh, mini AC. Maybe a little bit, a little bit taller, but maybe not quite as wide. Ventilation fan there. You got your main power. Okay, your your speed control from nothing all the way up to 10 and these this it's actually just a a 600 watt light dimmer switch and even at 10 it doesn't give you a full 100 percent of the power that your uh, your mains give you it gives you like maybe 115 out of 120 and that's what this switch does this switch will bypass this and give you direct AC current, so that'd be 100% there. And um, I've already taken most of the screws out of this, just for the purpose of this video. And I'll show you all the, the guts of this thing. unplug it for the moment. Uh, here it is. So this is the treadmill motor, Perna Magnus DC. Uh, it's a two and a quarter horsepower at 130 volts DC. Um, 15 amps, 6,500 RPM that's rated at. So it's a pretty good sized motor. Very long, very powerful. And uh, that's the motor driving it. It's a foreign, foreign brand. It's a front load washer motor. It's made in Germany. Um, it doesn't really give much else for information, but but it's a uh, top speed, 21,600 RPMs. Mm. Belt drive is pretty much a one to one ratio. That might be a little bit smaller than this, but not by much. Um, you got your you got your wiring there. That's this is for the uh, the DC, so that goes right to your plug, your master on/off switch right there. The uh, switch it gives you full power, 100%, and your dimmer switch. It gets a little warm when this thing is under a little bit of a load, so I. Uh, a little bit of thermal compound underneath it, mix it with some super glue, and mounted it r r directly to the um, controller under there. Give it a little uh, extra cooling when it needs it. Um, I don't know what the horsepower rating is on this motor. I could not find much information at all about it, but it's it's pretty torquey. After all, it does it does have to drive a 
a big tub full of wet clothes that would probably weigh an upwards of 50 pounds. And if you haven't noticed yet, I got styrofoam lining everything but the floor. This thing's quite loud. And um, with the styrofoam, the noise is cut by like 90%. Most of the noise is just actually coming out of the uh, the ventilation hole there. And it does vibrate a little bit. That's why I mounted this whole thing on a springs. <laughs> So it can move, it can move and vibrate all at once, and it doesn't transfer through. Um, I get a light here. Here you go. So it sits at the top of like. Um, six, I think seven springs. There's two of them in here, a big one. A couple there. And a couple there. So it doesn't touch anything on all on any of the sides. So I'll plug this thing back in. Not even at the one setting yet. Just about. time I'll put the front and the uh, top back on you see with the, how much of a difference uh, the styrofoam actually makes when this thing's running
this little uh, motor in. <laughs> it's a little bit of a load. It will definitely slow down. The motor's a 120 volt motor. would be normal voltage for this little motor. So that's uh Well, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.